I do not believe that women should back away from competition. At 71, I'm still learning. I've learned that today, all leaders, whether it's men or women, it is our mindset and attitude and the belief in ourselves that's going to make us successful or not. I'm Jenny Chan, a serial entrepreneur from Singapore. In the 60s, I'm so grateful that my father and my uncle would pay for my education overseas. At that time, uh, there's hardly any women educated. And my friend's brother was in Melbourne. He's got a house in Bell Street, Fitzroy. Brought his sister and myself there. Australians are very outspoken. They say it as it is. But when you come back to Singapore, it's an Asian culture where you must listen and respect what your father say in spite of not liking it, you just have to do it. And you have to apologise even though you're right. So that's the culture that we face. I started being a watch girl in 73 in Henry's family business, Lee Che, because I was expecting my second child. My eldest child had brain damage at birth. And I can't cope at the university, so I went there as a sales girl flexi time, family business. But I enjoyed it because I enjoyed meeting people, the sales, learning about the sales, learning bookkeeping. And then two years later in 1975, I was asked to open my first branch. Today, I think we have about 40 shops, you know, in six cities. When I started Hourglass, it was very opulent. It was luxury to the ultimate. It was closed door because it was air conditioned, carpeted, a thousand two square feet versus the counter space that every watch shop is. At that time, definitely, there's a class system. I'm treated like second class. When the boys have to go for dinner, okay, you can go home now. Everything is the boys. I think that's when I first realised that being a woman is different. You do feel left out. So the saving grace is I work harder to achieve results. And at the end of the day, it's your results that shows. And if you produce results, they'll respect you. Now, in most teams, whether it's woman or man, it's really about your own mindset and your own attitude your willingness to learn, to be open and transparent. I had my youngest daughter, Sabrina, and she was born without ears, bilateral atresia. She had hole in the heart, cleft palate, my whole world. I said, where's God? I managed Sabrina's eight operations in Melbourne with my mother's support, and yet I was growing hourglass at the same time in Australia. So it's the balancing, it's the multitasking, it's the having to do it because you've got no choice. You just do it. And I think these are the women's skills and more and more you see the do rather than the plan and the thinking and the strategies because whatever strategies and plans you have used to be three years, five years, 10 years, tomorrow it could change. So the ability to adapt, the ability to be able to tap inside you, your intuitive power, these are the women's strength today. I founded the International Women's Forum in Singapore. I was also the first woman president of ASEAN Business Forum and now the chairman for the Women Entrepreneurship in the Women Roundtable of the World Chinese Economic Summit. When I was 60 years old, when the kids were growing up, I said, okay, this is time for myself. I just go dancing. Women are performers and really action people. Most people talk, women get things done.